Hello folks, I'm on the south bank of the River Tay, looking across to Dundee, I'm out on the Royal Enfield, it's such a glorious day, it's warm, and this is just the day after I've uh, made a recent video that said um, the weather's been rubbish and I've not been able to get out, so the next day it's brilliant sunshine and it's warm, although it has clouded over a bit, so... On the Royal Enfield, look at that, it's gleaming. Noticed a couple of stone chips on the on the bumper, just there. There's one there, and I've got one on the tank as well. How the heck I got one on the tank is beyond me. There we go, just a chip, just there. But otherwise. The bike is looking absolutely magnificent. Uh, I'm going to wait to head through Tayport and I'm going to St Andrews just for somewhere to ride. Now you might get to see this, you might not. It depends. It depends what we see. Eh? Uh, so the river is absolutely dead calm. Not seen it like that for ages. Across there is that uh, all those wind farms that's going out to the North Sea. You can see probably there. We've only got one rig in today and there's one boat in the docks. Way at the back and it'll be dead flat for you. Probably about there is Craig Owl, at the top of the Sidlas. Okay, that's the orientation. Let's get going. The lay by that I stopped in just back there, it's just a couple of minutes along. This is the Sinta Tayport now. It's full of speed humps and uh, single single file traffic because the tra car's parked on the other side, so sometimes it can be a bit nippy getting through. A wee booty coming in. Right. Yeah, that's the reaction of the Royal Enfield. Love your bike. I think that's what he said anyway. <laughs> well, he's telling me to get out. <laughs> So we're not far from St Andrews, but I'm not going to go in the normal way, I'm going to go in the back road. It's just a bit more interesting, you know. Uh, I don't think I've actually filmed the back road into St Andrews. So we head up a mile and a half up to Strathkinnis, we take a left and then we go to in the, in the back of St Andrews. And here we are in Strathcarnis. So we took a left. And this will take us into St Andrews. Three miles. Let's go and have a look and see what this is. So it's unsuitable for heavy good vehicle. Always a good sign. Now, once again that will all be flattened but what a beautiful view we've got over there. Just about there is Kent's Muir. Which we cycled along, eh, cycled along. <laughs> I've been on a bike for years, <laughs> push bike. Um, we rode along the edge of that that forest to get ourselves to where we are to just now. And here we are in St Andrews. Another wonderful 20 mile an hour zone. So this is where uh, the St Andrews sports fields are, the university sports field. And uh, 
my football team did the United, they've got a place here, they train, apparently it's world class training facilities, people like uh, Barcelona and the like have come here for summer training, probably winter training to them, <laughs> uh, quite a few English teams come up here as well. Yeah, a bit of useless information for you. And here we are in the centre of St Andrews. We'll go under that arch. We'll have a look and see what it's like. And we'll go and do some people spot and see, what, see who's wandering about in this town centre. Historic buildings in St Andrews. I was in there with a couple of friends. It was all right. I'm hard to please, eh? <coughs> of course, the problem with the centre of St Andrews is, is getting yourself parked up. Especially since you've got a watch now that you can't... Christ, mate. There's uh, crossings all over the place and they, they cut across the corner. Oh, Cobble Street. busy today actually. So there'll be a mixture of tourists as always. A lot of them will come for the golf. Ah, there's a Greg's. If only I could get party. <laughs> oh, you're never going to get out. Never, ever, ever, ever. Jeez, I don't understand these people parking their... Uh, Cars nosing. Been a couple of the pubs down here. A couple of them with the uh, works nights out. So as you can see, it's quite a busy little town. The home of golf, of course, St Andrews. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you. down and around the old cathedral in the centre. It was an old uh, Catholic cathedral, I think it was, and it was destroyed during the Reformation that went on. Right. Uh, ice cream shop down here on the left hand side. Always queues. coffee in some of these places down here. Can't remember which one. <laughs> it was rubbish. There we go. Jeanette is not too bad today. So there's the, the remains of the cathedral. One of the days, I'm going to take my 360 camera around and with my, um, when I'm visiting with my wife and we're going to have a wonder. I'll take a video of that, but let's just go down. Let's go down this, uh, this route here so you can maybe get a good view of that. It's a very impressive building. Uh, you couldn't let me go, could you mate? This takes us down to the docks, to the harbour, surrounded of course by St Andrews University. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he 
you did look like a re lecturer right enough. Yeah. So you can probably see that. This is a one-way street by the way, so we can't come back up here. I think the only way I can go is to go to the right. During the storms, the harbour gates were more or less destroyed, so they've had a bit of work to try and repair it. I don't know if they've repaired it or not, because uh, I haven't read anything about it, but it cost them a pretty penny, that's for sure. So I've just come out of the harbour, there's more of that uh, wall that you saw that we went under, went around, quite huge, very, very nice. So we're going to double back on ourselves a little bit and I'll take you up the other side of the main streets uh, in the town centre and that's where I'll probably end the video. It reminds me of uh, York in a lot of ways. If you visited York and the wall around it. Uh, although you can't walk on top of this one. Well, as far as I know. <laughs> there we are, look at that. Splendid. <coughs> so, this is the ice cream parlour that we came down. There, look at how busy that is. And I see at the weekend the queues are miles long. And I'm surprised there's not a queue today because it's a nice day. Yeah, that neighbourhood calf, I think that's where it was. Hopeless. That was last year. Get a wee wave again. See that Royal Enfield for getting waves. <laughs> there you are, street. Streets are full of coffee drinkers. Now, we came in under that arch right in front of us. So I think this is uh, the perfect place to end this video. Now, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of St Andrews. Uh, I haven't taken you around any of the streets that I showed you in St Andrews. So it's a new video happening in St Andrews, but in different parts. But uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this little... little bimbo around. 